What the f happened yesterday? Welcome back, everybody. You guys are tuned into the official YouTube channel for the CoinCaso Cryptocurrency Exchange, the official crypto partner of Paris Saint Germain, one of the world's greatest football clubs. In today's episode, I want to talk about the huge dip all across the board in every market, whether it was Europe, the United States, cryptocurrencies, Forex. Everything got decimated yesterday. Firstly, I want to talk about why this happened, who it happened to, and what we can expect in the coming days. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, September 22nd. Thank you so much for joining me every single day. I appreciate all the love and support on yesterday's video. That thing just got a ton of views and a ton of new subscribers for the channel. We just broke 6,000 subscribers. So thank you to all the people that have been here for a while and everybody that joined on yesterday. And if you're new here and you like what you see in this video, don't forget to subscribe and tick the notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new one. All right, let's jump into these prices because Wow. Going on to the Coin Casso homepage, boom, we have Bitcoin sitting at $10,473, down 4.6% from yesterday. Ethereum sitting at $345, down 8% from yesterday. Ouch. And Chainlink again getting beat down massively at $8.91, down 8.17%. Taking a look at Coin Market Cap to see who is actually in the green from yesterday's catastrophe. There are only three coins in the top 100 cryptocurrencies that saw positive movement from yesterday. And that is Orchid, Hyperion, and DAI. Everything else in the top 100 coins, completely negative. So if you lost money yesterday, just like I did, don't feel bad, everybody lost money. And if you were holding any of these coins down the double digits, I'm sorry. Okay, I want you guys to understand one thing. I am not a fortune teller. Yesterday's video, if you saw it and I said the price of Bitcoin is going to come down before it comes up, I didn't think that it would happen two hours later. So I'm not Nostradamus. I'm not some wizard that can predict the future. I have to come clean on that. It does feel a little nice knowing that my prediction was correct, but you have to understand the entire market yesterday took a huge dive and it was due to two reasons. If you guys follow global financial news, websites like Bloomberg always post news articles on what's going on in the economy. Whether there's big meetings in the United States or Europe talking about their economic policies as well as future outlooks on the economy. These happen usually the first Friday of every month, sometimes in the middle of the month, but these big news releases really affect the market in a substantial way, either up or down. Yesterday, news was released least in Europe with growing fears of the COVID pandemic returning and more numbers and everybody started to panic because of another proposed lockdown. Basically the markets fell almost as much as they did on March 12th. This is one of the largest double digit crashes that we've had in quite a while. I'm going to add this article in the link in the description below. It's titled European stocks fall most since June on fears over lockdowns. It goes over everything that I just discussed in more detail. So I don't have to waste your time in this video. It's about a two minute read, but I want you guys to realize this. I mentioned in a previous video that cryptocurrencies were supposed to be the fail safe against economic collapse, but because so many of the big financial leaders, the big banks, the financial institutions, the hedge funds, everybody's in cryptocurrency, so they follow the market in tandem. So I'm going to jump onto the charts really quick to show you exactly what I'm talking about. This is Bitcoin on the hourly chart going from 10,955 all the way down to 10,177. Ethereum did the same thing, dropping from 373 all the way down to 331. Even gold, gold bullion, like the treasure of the entire world, dropped so insanely yesterday, it actually shocked me. Going from $1,951 per ounce all the way down to 1,882. This doesn't happen with gold. Usually when people start seeing the markets drop, gold goes the opposite way because people pull their money out of the market and into gold, something more safe and secure. It has rebounded quite nicely since then, but seeing this initial drop, that's a shock. This is the Dow Jones dropping from 27,500 all the way down to 26,700. This is the German 30. It's like the equivalent of the NASDAQ in America. Dropping from 13,100 
all the way down to 12,490. Same goes with the S&P 500, but it had a beautiful rebound, which is really nice to see. So you are wondering right now, will it continue to go down? or is this a good time to buy? When people get into panic mode and they start panic selling and we see market declines like this, like the German 30 dropped over 5% in one day. Bitcoin dropped nearly 7% to its lowest point. I know that there's a global pandemic and I know a lot of people are worried about it. The more that the news pushes this fear of global lockdowns, not being able to travel, stay at home, can't go to work, the more the economy is gonna suffer. The more that news is out there, the more people are gonna panic and the more panic selling occurs. If you're in cryptocurrencies and you're holding a long position, just hold, you don't have anything to worry about long-term. If you're day trading, be very, very cautious on which direction you're trading. If you're shorting the market, make sure you have enough margin to cover a drop. If you're going long, watch moving averages because it's really bouncing off of the 50 and the 200. I am usually extremely optimistic about the cryptocurrency markets and the markets overall, but with this pandemic and the amount of fear that is being pushed onto the population, I'm really skeptical about which direction the market's gonna continue to go. I don't think it's gonna be like it was on March 12th, but I think over the next week, it may continue in the down direction. We are creatures of habit. So we work on weeks, we work on months, we work on years. Like we have this defined time frame in the financial markets. When you look at a certain currency or a cryptocurrency or a commodity or like the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones, usually there's a pattern for the week. And the pattern goes like this. It goes in a direction for three days, and on the third or fourth day, it reverses down, going lower than where it started at the beginning of the week. Yesterday was Monday, and we saw a huge dive. Everyone is thinking that the worst is over, and the market will rebound today. What is the opposite thought process that I've told you the market makers always go against what the general public is thinking? I think people are going to buy in because they think it's discounted and it's going to continue back up and the market makers are gonna screw all these people over and continue this downtrend for the next two days. This is just a theory of mine, but I really don't want you to get into something thinking that it's gonna rebound a day after the most detrimental crash we've seen in a while. My advice, stay out of everything all week. My portfolio is hurting just as bad as your portfolio, but if you think about the long term, not the short term, you're going to be way more relaxed about the situation. Unfortunately, we do live in this climate. This whole 2020 year has been an absolute catastrophe. And with this pandemic and all the conspiracy theories and the presidential election coming up soon, I see a lot of volatility in the market, which is distracting people from what's actually going on. That's why my advice is to stay away from these markets until everything actually calms down and we see an actual trend in the market. Like, like look at Bitcoin, look at any currency, look at any index. It's literally going like this. There's no solid trend. We don't have stability in the markets right now. And for you to assume that you're smart enough to know which direction the spike's gonna go today, you better be very confident in your skills. You better know your technical analysis. You better know the news. You better keep your finger on the pulse of everything because one bad news article and you've blown your account. Now, I'm going to read this article because it sums up what happened perfectly from yesterday. The article is titled Market Wrap, Bitcoin dips to 10.1K, Ether drops to 330 on sell-off session. This entire first part goes over the statistics and the charts that I looked at earlier. And this first quote is where it really starts. The market is still positioned short with persistent negative funding over the past month and under allocation to Bitcoin. At this stage, sellers are still in control of the market. This was quoted from Cindy Lau, portfolio manager for 256 Capital Partners. As Bitcoin tumbled Monday, sell liquidations on derivatives exchange BitMEX picked up, putting pressure on price. In fact, over the past 24 hours, BitMEX liquidated over 34 million in long positions because they all got stopped out. The crypto equivalent of a margin call. Michael Rabkin of Crypto Liquidity and market maker firm DV Chain said markets across the board are in risk-off mode when asset holders unload for safer investments in face of broader economic turmoil. Governments continue to print money and questions are left unanswered due to COVID. We are seeking risk-off across the markets right now, which is having direct effect on crypto. 
That's why even gold dropped down. Gold is the one thing that usually goes up when the markets go down. People are so scared right now, they're just taking their cash. Ether options shift on price drop. The second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, Ether, was down Monday, trading around $345 and slipping 7.2% in 24 hours. Implied volatility, the market's expectation of Ether's future price movement has dipped below realized volatility. Ether's current movement based on historic data, it's a shift in Ether's option market not seen since July. This is making me believe even more that today the markets will drop again. More people will panic. More people will sell off. Some people will buy in thinking it's going to recuperate and the big boys are going to trap you in a long position and push the market even further down. I'm almost positive this is going to happen for another day or day and a half. Come Wednesday or Thursday, that's when the markets should start reversing. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I am absolutely like realistic about situations. When I see things like this, there's no way that you can be optimistic about the direction of the market. The world is in fear and panic. Think about this. If you're in a fight one-on-one, -on -one, like, yeah, maybe you have a chance. But if 8,000 people are running at you trying to beat you up, there's no way. There's no way you could be Jackie Chan or Bruce Lee. There's no way. This is what's going on right now. The global population is in fear. The markets are moving towards that fear. Who knows where the bottom is going to be, but I can assure you it will bounce back. That's why I'm an advocate of the long hold. And you guys know what time it is. Let's pick the fan of the day. And automatic comment generator. Click. Boom. And the fan of today is Francisco Lara. The comment that won was, damn, I wish people who kept it real like this guy would get more recognition. That's actually a nice comment. I appreciate that. Francisco, you are officially the fan of the day. You will be the pinned comment on that video and the winner of 10 USDT. So make sure you sign up for the Coin Casso Exchange. Put your ID number in that comment down below, and I will send you 10 USDT today. If you want to win tomorrow's fan of the day, just leave a comment down below. It can be an emoji, it can be good, it can be bad, whatever you like, as well as your Coin Casso ID number, and I will send you 10 USDT if you're the winner of fan of the day. If you got some value out of this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe on your way out, and we will see you back here tomorrow.